Hi there, I'm Robert Dudzik, and what you see up front of me, it's called Sandbox. Sandbox is made by German company Leaf Audio, and the name pretty much explained everything. It's a box what's making sounds. But you're gonna ask question, okay, what's about special about this box? First of all, the box is made of special wood. What basically it's add special resonant and nice tone to the sound. For the example, like you know, you, you can buy acoustic guitar for seventy dollars, or you can buy acoustic guitar for two or three thousand dollars. It all depends on the quality of wood and then the tone of the sound. So basically, these guys use probably the best wood possible combinations on different players to creating this instrument. And on top there. The design and built inside special amplifier, what's connect to the contact microphones when they basically attach under, and you are able to control the gain level right here of this thing, how loud you want the signal when you're recording. So in order to operate this thing, all you pretty much need is nine volt battery when basically you plug in this right here, right back and you're ready to go. This is your power, what, what you need this pretty much. And in the back, you connect your two cables, one sending the signal directly to your recorder, and you're ready to start recording sounds. Two things in the back. Switch, when you turn on and off, you see the blue light, and it means the unit is on. And here, you can control, do you want a high or low sensitivity of the switch? I have it on low because the signal is very strong, so, I'm fine with that. The next thing what's come is, is another little sandbox, but I call these things more as a performing stage because it's have like nice flat surface and I was able to attach so many things to this unit and using this tap as a performing stage when I was able to be able to tapping my fingers or play with the sticks or do all, all kind of stuff. You will see in the video the way how I'm using, but it's incredible. And what you can do with this, basically by one cable, you can connect this directly and to your sandbox right here, when is the input. And you pretty much chain all these units to work together. So one gain, one, the one knob right here will be control the level of this unit. The second gain will be control the level of the external sandbox. And the both work fantastic. And there is another great thing what these guys come with idea. If you don't want to design, extend the box, this one, you can just get like additional pickup and you use this input and connect the pickup directly and you can attach this to anything and use this power amp inside to amplify your signal and just creating, recording crazy sounds. What I will show you basically how I'm using this thing. So that's the one thing and it's not done yet because even if you connect two of these boxes and you stay one using external units, all you have to do right here, there's additional input and you can connect additional pickup right here and you pretty much extend your link and you can record so many other things at the same time. So it's actually a cool thing to experiment with the sounds because sometimes you almost want to like a performing using this instrument. You two hands playing right here and here maybe you can have like a metal can or bowl with something and just moving sounds. So definitely cool things to change and Another great thing is what well, this thing, it's, it's pretty much very like modular synthesizer, except that it's no module synth. Here, you can attach different hardware to this or different elements. And basically, all you have to do, unscrew this thing and just attach so many different things. It's kind of like with very precision screws. And you just attach this and tie up any extension you want. The, I know th th these guys have on the website so many different variety of attachments when you can attach like I see already right here, like Kalimba, like rubber band springs, and just to generate different sounds. But you can make them on your own, so many different things, and you just explore your sounds the way how no one other have. And I give you guarantee, each time you will be using this unit, you will become with your own unique sounds where basically no one ever hear and no one have them. So that's the advantage of this thing. Another thing I wanna show you what I'm gonna use today is the feel amp from the Leaf Audio. And this thing is pretty much next level of 
everything I own when it's come to the recording quiet detail sounds. It's I, I don't think so there's even microphone in the market what can go so deep and details recording quiet sounds like like this unit does. It, it's pretty much so what you have to do, connect one of the pickups directly right here to the unit and just attach to anything you want to record and just play with the gain, but it's very sensitive and you're just going to open your jaw because you're just going to hear sounds like you never hear before. Like for example, I was recording my hand watch and I started to listen all these gears what normally I would have to put to my ear and to try listen to anything, but you barely hear anything. This amp just amplifies the signal and I can hear everything. Or I record so many sequences of my cameras and I was able to hear all these details of the sounds. And another cool thing, when I was recording everything in 192 kilohertz and 32 bit flat, then I was able to slow down and stretch or pitch down and hear these sequences in the slow motion. And you basically starting creating new sounds and sketches of basic sequence of something like flash camera. So that's the way how I use this stuff. So that's the quick overview of the sandbox and now is the fun part. So let's go get to the part when I will be basically starting demonstrating you the way how I'm using sandbox or the field amp, how I generate the sounds and maybe that's gonna spark you some ideas and you're gonna create in your own.
So there you have it. That's the sandbox from Leaf Audio. And what I give you just a small preview of examples the way how I'm using. But however, you can use them any way you want and you can use any process and your post-production after to make the sounds beefer or like wider or more interesting. Remember, this unit is designed to basically to generate like a raw sample. So if you're sound designer, you should always record all the sounds without any of the reverb on the delays. Sometimes it's good when you record, just put yourself like a little reverb on the ear so you hear like a depth of the sound. But I would strongly recommend you record this in the highest quality you can. So if you can go 96, it's great. If you can go 192 kilohertz, it's even better. But definitely don't record this with any attached reverb or any elements because you're gonna have after problem with manipulating with the sounds. So just record them dry the way how they're going and they just sounds warm and beautiful inside and you can do with the sounds whatever you like to do after. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.